Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. I wanted to share what I did today, even though I didn't do a Friday functions video. I just wanted to take a break because I'm getting ready for next week when we'll have the Microsoft Ready and the Microsoft Inspire conference. And I'm sure that's going to be a lot of fun, even though I heard through the grapevine that we're going to have temperatures above 100 degrees. So that's always fun. Anyway, I decided to make myself an app that I could use when I'm traveling or when I'm meeting people because sometimes I meet people who are also crazy about fountain pens just like myself. And I always wish I had my fountain pen collection with me. I don't you can never walk around with your fountain pen collection, you know, unless you have just three pens. But um you can, I it hit me today, I can make a little app and I'll use this app on my phone. This is an app in Power Apps that actually um, connects to my um, little Excel spreadsheet that has all my pens that I've purchased in it. I also have another spreadsheet that has all the pens that are on my wish list, believe it or not. Um, and then this also includes pens that were purchased for me as gifts because people will often give me pens as gift. It's only missing one because the one that it's missing is at work in my pen box on my desk and I'm home today. So I figured I'd show you this app I made for myself because you know I think it's every now and then we should all be power addicts and make something that is just for ourselves. Um, and that's what this is. And let me just play it. So I would normally use this on my phone and it literally just scrolls through um, some really quick uh, screenshots and pictures of the pens that are in my collection. And as you can see, I add the name of the pen, the company, the filling type. So when you, when you, you know, you care about how you put the ink in your pen, um, and the nib, um, type and size. And I also added a little country of origin, um, where I knew what, you know, where I think I know what country, um, the pen is made in. And so like this, I can easily um, talk to somebody when I'm on the road about the pens that I have and kind of show them what pens I have and why I love them. I'm thinking it could be a conversation piece um, because once in a while I do run into people who are um, into fountain pens as well. Now, the neat thing I wanted to show you, speaking of formulas that I did, is I made that this um, filter by the um, brand. So if I click on uh, pilot, it'll filter the gallery so that it's only showing the pilot pens. Um, if I want to scratch that, I can just clear it with this little guy up here. Um, and then I can say, okay, instead of showing me pilot, show me all the, um, let's see, OMAS. And so just by tapping on the gallery, it'll filter it down to the OMAS pins. And so that little trick I kind of like, um, and it was really easy what I did. So let me show you what I did there. So on the um, app load, so when this app loads, it creates a collection. I don't know if I can make this bigger. I think I can't. It creates a collection that is coming from the Excel table and it calls that collection. This is the really important part my call, right? Standing for my collection. What's neat about my collection is this gallery here is always sorted for that collection, sorting by the name of the pen in its sending order, but it's always looking at the my call collection. So it's really easy to swap my call out. So if you click on the um, name of the brand and you look at my on select here, you'll see that it says clear collect. So actually it's clearing the My Call collection and repopulating it instead with a, a filter on that table where the brand equals this item brand. So basically it doesn't matter in this case that this says this item. It's not the normal way you think about this item. In this case, this item in this case just means whichever one you clicked on. So kind of a sneaky way of uh, shortcutting my, 
my my um, collection app. I hope you'll like it. Um, all the pictures are most of my pens I buy from Goulet Pens, um, and so I give them credit for most of these images. Some of them are screenshots, some of them are pictures, and so um, I hope you like that. And I'll be seeing you when I get back from Vegas. You have an awesome weekend, and I'll be talking to you soon.